Good morning. We're in Taikomi at the uh, capturing box where the water is collected to be distributed through the um, four uh, kilometer distribution line. And we're with our project foreman, Caleb Matos, and with uh, Miguelito, who is a member of the Taikomi Water Committee. Miguelito, puede salud. Yeah, that's Miguelito. And this is Victor. And what uh, both Victor and Caleb did yesterday was make modifications to um, this capturing point. There's three uh, springs. They're really holes in this uh, mountainside. And what Caleb did is secure it with uh, putting, um, you know, the tubes right up to the springs. And then he built this little retaining wall so all the organic matter which was going to flow when, it's, when it rains, which it's doing right now, won't enter this capturing box. Once um, the water enters the capturing box, he loaded it with uh, uh, different uh, uh, gravel, right, from one centimeter to eight centimeter. The water is really pretty clean leaving this, uh, the, the springs. But if there is any kind of contamination, it's going to be eliminated uh, in half. Then we direct this water down to a pre-filter and then it flows through two slow sand filters. And uh, that secures that 99.99% .99 of the bacteria, viruses and cysts will be removed from the water. Uh, we, the distribution line, as I said, is four kilometers. And as you can see here, this distribution line, which starts here, is topped with, um, we use a, a wood called esteraki as the pillar, and then we, we've got the tube running, and then we top it with a wood called chanta. So you can see we work in harmony with the environment, and uh, we respect this uh, protected rainforest and the people. So thanks for following, and there'll be more to come. Bye for now.